What is up guys, welcome back to Brick Age Studios, and today I will be reviewing the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 exclusive promotional minifigure, the Giant Man Hank Pym. The set number for this is 30610, the recommended ages are 6 through 12, it has a piece count of only 3 pieces, and it is available if you purchase the deluxe edition for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. So, why don't we go ahead and take a quick look at the actual figure. Alrighty, here he is, Giant Man, or Hank Pym as Giant Man, if you want to be specific. Uh, but obviously, right off the bat, you can tell that this is definitely comic book based, this whole design, because we've never seen a suit like this in the MCU or any of the movies whatsoever. And we've never even really seen Hank Pym in a suit, besides that one flashback scene in Ant-Man. Uh, but I kind of like that factor about it, the fact that, uh, that it's more of an obscure character design. I really like the bright blue and yellow. I think it'll make it pop out on the shelf amongst other superhero characters. And he does have some really nice printing throughout as well. One thing I will say is that I'm disappointed at the lack of leg printing, though, because the detailing on the torso and head is really good that it just kind of makes the absence of leg printing stand out all the more. So, yeah, that's kind of disappointing in my opinion. But he does have back printing on the torso and head, which is really nice that they included that. And, yeah, obviously this isn't Giant Man scaled to be giant, he hasn't injected the serum into himself yet, or, uh, or whatever he does, but anyways, really cool figure, why don't we go ahead and quickly take a look at the flyer included, I'm not even going to bother to do a transition, because this is a pretty small thing, it's not an instruction manual or anything, because obviously you don't need instructions to build a three-piece minifigure, but as you can see, this is just more of an advertisement, and we have the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets on one side, and the Spider-Man Homecoming sets on the other. So yeah guys, that'll do it for this very quick review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I don't really have any closing thoughts since this is just a simple figure, but I will say that I think it's a pretty solid promotion and I think Marvel fans will appreciate this sort of obscure addition to their collections. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think of this figure and if you think it's a good promotion for the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 game. And as always, I'll see you guys next time on Brick Age Studios.